right, now we're going to hear some from key leaders in Saratoga County. Patty Southworth is the Balson Town Supervisor and the Saratoga County Independence Party Chair. She serves on the Saratoga County Board of Supervisors, where she has been a strong advocate for mandate relief. Patty has been a licensed pharmacist for over 29 years and, bring, and brings a unique business perspective to government. Brian Talish is the chairman of the Clifton Park Republican Committee. He's a former Clifton Park Zoning Board and Board of Assessment Review member who also brings an important business perspective as a business consultant with McDonald's USA. Let's welcome Patty and Brian. Thanks. I want to thank um, you for being here today and taking time out of your busy weekend. And, and Lisa, I want to thank you for inviting me here. Um, I am fortunate to have people like Lisa in the town of Alston who aren't afraid to stand up and fight for what they believe is right. Um, every county in New York State is faced with the possibility of financial collapse due to the burdens of unfunded and underfunded mandates. Saratoga County is no different. This year, mandates will cost Saratoga County over $61 million. That's over 121% of our property tax levy. Yes, you heard right. We spend and send to New York State over a dollar and 21 cents for every dollar we collect in property taxes. If we were not forced by mandates dictated and not paid for by the state to pay, we would have no, I repeat, no property tax in Saratoga County. Wouldn't that be nice? focus on much needed county road infrastructure. This is not the kind of trickle down economics we deserve. Towns in New York State are faced with the same bleak financial future and Boston is no different. Whether it's stormwater management or animal control, we're being crippled with the cost of programs mandated by the state. These unfunded programs have saddled towns with more employees, increasing payroll, health care and retirement costs. What makes the situation worse? there's no end in sight. So it's important to remember, as you've heard from some of the other speakers, the problem is not always the mandated programs. It's how we are forced to fund them. So what do we do about that? We must evaluate the effectiveness of every program. The services provided to whom and how they're administered must be reevaluated. It is incumbent upon officials to find out what services are truly necessary and how to provide them to the recipients in the most cost-efficient manner. No one said these decisions were going to be easy, and they won't be. We're elected to do more than just go to parades and chicken barbecues. We are put in office because the public has entrusted us to do the right thing, and that we must do. It is imperative that state officials work with the local officials to solve the fiscal inequities. We must work hand in hand if we are going to resolve the issues of mandate relief in a way that uh, is fair to everyone. It is time for intelligent dialogue, not rhetoric. It's time to lift the load off the shoulders of working families and local business owners like you and I. Thank you.